over to what the weather is doing <laughs> here in Northeast Ohio. And Holly, I don't have an answer. Do Throwing you? a fit? Throwing a fit. I mean, a fit. right? Gotta be. Uh, it's it's something, something's in the air. Well, I'll tell you what's in the air. Snowflakes for a lot of you. And uh, here's a live look downtown where things are quieter compared to uh, earlier this morning when uh, we had a pretty intense band of lake effect moving through. And some of you are still dealing with it. We'll continue to deal with leftover rain and snow showers in many spots through a good chunk of this Wednesday, November the 1st. So that's definitely the headline. Winter weather advisories remain in place for Cuyahoga Lake in Geauga counties until 10 this morning. So that has not changed at all. That is uh, same thing since yesterday. And then a lake effect snow warning now for those of you in Ashtabula County until one this afternoon. So I'm going to track the lake effect and I'll show you the thought pattern as far as additional bands forming as we get into a little bit later this morning and early afternoon time. In the meantime, speaking of Ashtabula, we've got plenty of snow coming down. So it's not the most intense band that we've seen throughout the overnight hours, but it's certainly got areas of more moderate snow. So this is more inland that you're dealing with the slowdowns along the lakeshore itself in Ashtabula. It's more of a mix of rain and snow. But look at this band that basically stretches from Hudson through Stowe and the east side of Akron. That is some very heavy snow right now. Whenever you see those sort of deep purple shades on uh, the enhanced radar, that is really going to be reduced visibility. Snowfall rates at an inch or two an hour. Austin out live this morning talking about driving through a band like that earlier. And so if you get into one of those today, just know that it's really going to, you know, flip your commute from what could basically be normal to a whiteout in some spots. And we're seeing more snow showers in and around Orville right now. So the lake effect snows and uh, in some cases a mix will clear out as we get into later this afternoon, but roads are still very slick in areas. So just know that by tomorrow we see a big change. Hold for the seven day right now. 20s to near 30 degrees is where we are temperature wise. We should be in the 40s for lows, so we're way below it. 25 is the record low. Some of you are in the upper 20s. So we're not exactly far from that and we're not far from sunshine. So that's the great news. It's kind of a interesting way to start the new month. That's for sure. Only in the low 40s. That's where we should be for lows as we just showed you additional accumulating snow, most likely to the east where we do have lake effect snow warnings in place. So here's your national design mark forecast. Fast forward to 10 a.m. and notice the additional bands that we're seeing form over the lake and stretch into Ashtabula, but also into Geauga County. So it's not just where we have warnings necessarily. We could still see snow this afternoon, basically primary snow belt. So those of you in Geauga and Ashtabula and even east side of Cleveland, looks like we can still have some rain snow mix into the afternoon before we clear things out. A lot of you west and further inland will see sunshine before those in the primary snow belt is the moral of the story. So here's the Union Home Mortgage seven day outlook. We're in that low 40 range today. 50 tomorrow, hello sunshine. We'll see sun later today too. And then mid to upper 50s heading into this weekend. Big weekend with the Browns playing. We've got scattered rain in the forecast on Sunday, so just know that. And uh, also into early next week, Carmen. Okay, Holly, that sounds good. I guess we'll take it, but we might need a heavier coat to walk outside for today with that snow and those freezing temperatures. Okay, it is now 520.